Alright, let's make a jet in Tinkercad. Click your design, click your properties, and make it say jet with your name on it. So your initials, so that you got it. And then a jet starts probably, or an airplane starts probably, with a tube for the body. I am going to kind of cheat, and I'm going to put a cube out here, put my work plane on the front of the cube, and then when I draw the tube for the body of the um, jet, it'll be in the right location. I want to uh, shrink that so it's 10 wide. So I'm going to hold down shift and grab a handle. And once I've got a diameter of 10, then I'm going to hit W to get rid of my work plane. And I have got now my jet that I can start building with. I'm going to lower it so it touches the ground. You can see now it says that it's zero. And then I would like the jet that you print. If you uh, have any envision of printing this, don't make the body part longer than 3 centimeters or 30 millimeters. I'm going to tell you that this guy is totally fun. So if you want to break the rules and create your own, go nuts. Uh, what I'm going to do with mine is I want to put a point or a sphere on the front of it. Uh, so I'm going to set the work plane for those locations by hitting W and clicking the location. And then I'm going to put the pointy one on it. Once I set it out there, I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to hold shift. I know that I got to make it size 10 and now it'll fit and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge that little critter where I want. With that in place, I'm going to create my wings. I'm going to do that by shutting off the work plane and then I am going to use a wedge for mine. So when I drag the wedge out, this one I'm going to do manually. I'm going to adjust it to the angle I want. Wings have to be thin, so I'm going to make it nice and skinny. And then I'm going to use that same trick where I nudge it into place so that it actually connects to uh, my body tube. Uh, this is where it gets crazy. If you want to make yours totally weird, like so I'm moving mine so it's got the wing uh, up, you may do that. Any which way you want to do it is fine. Because I need two wings, I'm going to do Control C and Control V. I'm going to use Rotate. I'm going to make sure I say on the inside thicker lines so that it's easier to rotate. Notice when I go out, it goes by ones and little numbers. I want to just go to 180. And then I want to use Nudge to move it to the other side. Got them lined up awful close to the same. You can see from this angle I was a little off. So maybe that makes me more happy. But now I've got my wings in place. And I can move on to creating the awesome tail fin. I'm going to add my tail fin with the pyramid. I'm going to just drop it in the back. I'm going to make it super skinny. Because that's what a tail fin on a plane should look like. Shrink it a little bit this way. Use the awesome little raise it up arrow, and then I'm going to nudge it into place with the arrow keys. I'm going to leave it hanging off the back because I've also got an idea for an engine. Uh, you could put your engine underneath your plane. Uh, you can add anything you want to your plane. I am so flexible this way. But uh, check out my idea for an engine here. I'm going to hit W for work plane. I'm going to use a hexagon. i got to shrink my hexagon so it's below... 10 I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it so it lines up where I want and now I've got that groovy little engine and I want to cut a hole out of it so it looks more like an engine I'm also going to line it up a little better by using the .25 nudge now I really like that then I'm going to switch back to the 1 and then here's where I'm going to do the W. And I want to keep that work plane on the back of the engine. I'm going to grab a normal cylinder. I'm going to drop it right in the center. I'm going to shrink that critter down so it's nice and small. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to put it inside my new engine. I want to make sure it uh, pokes out. So there you can see I've got an engine that pokes all the way out. And then if I connect both of those, 
I'm sorry, if I make that a hole, and now I select both, so I'm going to hold shift and click on the brown one, and if I do group, I have just cut an engine hole out of my cool jet. Add some final adjustments, like I think I want that to be a lot lower. I think I'm going to push that in now that my design looks kind of more finalized. I'm going to do control Z on that last one. Make sure you're always paying attention to your um, saved so you don't lose your work. We did have that happen a lot yesterday. I'm struggling because I didn't shut off my work plane. Now my work plane is done and this little guy will shrink like I wanted him to. Nudge him one to the right. Once again I'm going to tweak that grid so he goes exactly where I want. Go back to the uh, whole number and then I got one last cool idea uh, for up here on top of my uh, jet. I want a little canopy where the dude or the uh, gal that flies it sits. And then like we've done before, I'm going to hold down shift, shrink that all at once. Now I'm going to make it skinny and then I'm going to nudge it into place so that I have got a canopy on my awesome little jet. See what kind of crazy level you can take your jet to when you're done. It is beautiful because all changes are immediately saved. Or you can go to your design option and you can upload it to Thingiverse. If you do upload it to Thingiverse, one cool thing you can add to it is to use the DuckLink screen capture to capture a picture of your uh, item. I'm going to close that window first and then like I did I'm clicking on that little camera but that's down by the time and then I'm clicking and selecting a picture and saving it to the desktop so that on Thingiverse I can now add that cool item with a picture instead of just a blue thing. To do it you simply hit edit and then you browse for the file like I told you that screenshot I put on the desktop and I just simply need to go down and find the one from today's date. And then my thing that I'm going to choose to publish will also have a cool picture instead of just the blue STL that is able to print. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to us on YouTube or you can follow us on Instagram or you can become a friend of us at HL Mod Tech on Facebook.